loves kids, right? Doesn't everybody love kids? Sure. Well, guess again. Because today, more and more couples are saying no to having children. In fact, our next guest went so far as to have her tubes tied at age 25. Please welcome Monica Leitner and her husband, Kevin, the author of, and the author of The Childless Revolution, What It Means to Be Childless Today, Madeline Kane. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Monica, you've only been married two years. Why did you choose not to have children now at this point? Well, when we decided to get married, we focused on our goals and decided what the long-term one, long ones were, and they just didn't include children. So we decided rather than to tempt fate and, you know, happen upon parenthood, we just decided that we're not ready for it, we'll never be ready for it, so we're not going to do it. I'm Madeline Hangford, I'm Madeline Hangford, first, second, I want to get to you in a moment. You came from a big family where the women were just so preoccupied with the children, somebody told me you said they didn't have time to go to the bathroom. Did <laughs> no, this influence your decision? Yes, because I saw the reality of motherhood. I saw the good aspects and the bad aspects, and I realized that you have to take the good with the bad. And I just, the bad just was a little bit too unappealing to me. But Monica, but the reality is you're, you're only 25, and you know how people are constantly changing and growing. You're not going to be the same woman at 25 that you are going to be at 30 or even 35. So what if you changed your mind or if you grew to want to have children? Actually, I'm 27, and the past two years that I've had my tubes tied, I've actually felt happy and very, like, a part of my life is complete, very much like a woman would feel if she were to have a baby. Two-part question. Kevin, has she ever regretted this decision as far as you know? Neither of us. I mean, you, it was a mutual decision? You're very supportive yeah. from the day we met. It was a, a point that we both uh, reinforced each other, that we never wanted any kids. And so, Madeline, are they atypical or typical? There's a lot of this stuff going on now. People say, I don't want to have kids? Well, what we're seeing is that 42% of the female population in this country is now childless. And this is a big change. And I think what we're seeing is Monica and many women like her are becoming proactive in deciding that perhaps ch children are not something that they wish to do. Okay. okay, now, Madeline, what about these children? Do you feel that the childless couples or the couples themselves are, mm -hmm. are discriminated against? Yes, unfortunately, they are. We still have an old-fashioned view that women are supposed to have children, but wouldn't it be better if we have a society where women who want children have them and those that don't are respected? I have heard, oh, all right. I have heard a thousand times over in my life people yeah. say, well, they're just selfish. Now, what kind of an answer do you have to that? What do you guys say? I say there's 6.1 billion people in the world already, and we're being non-selfish by not cluttering up the world some more. And I feel it's worse to be a, labeled a bad mother than it is to be labeled selfish. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. I mean, I, I love kids, and I definitely want kids in, in, my, uh, in my life. But if you don't want kids and you feel you're going to maybe just submit to that because of uh, society or pressure, then what kind of a parent would you be then at that point if I, you have I, unwanted kids? I think what we've seen is that there's been a big change in the attitude towards women. But we haven't come far enough yet that childlessness is respected as a valid choice. We talk about choice. But in essence, we're really saying there's only one. You really should be a mother. Otherwise, you're not really a woman, and you're not really fulfilled. And what we're finding is that childless women are perfectly fulfilled and perfectly happy. Well, hang for a okay, second. Okay, yes, yes. We're going to take a short little break. Uh, but when we come back, married with children versus married without children. Who do you think is really happier? The answer may surprise you, so stay there. When you... Oh. Well, we're talking to couples who have decided not to have children, and joining us is author Madeline Kane and Kevin and Monica Leitner. You had a question? Yes, uh, Madeline, are couples who are childless happier? I don't know if that's a very vague question, but... Well, all the research has proved that they are happier, and the, uh, when people are threatened with unhappy old ages or that you'll regret it down the line, none of the research backs that up. But I know so many couples that say, God, my children are my joy. I know that's the case with me and my mother. I think that's <laughs> wonderful. Wait a minute. Yeah. I've talked to your mother. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I think those that want children are happy and should have them. And I think those that don't should be applauded for making a really courageous decision. Now, I have a question. How is your family handling this? Do you feel pressure from them, or how do you communicate with them? About that was my question. I mean, you've got to be under a lot of pressure from no. people to say, why are you not having kids? Our parents are accepting of this, and, and I have no friends that are uh, trying to coerce me to have kids. Or Same here. Our, both of our parents realized that they'd rather have happy, fulfilled children than grandchildren. Folks, thank you very, very much. Yes, thank, thank you, you very, very much, much, Madeline. Well, you know, it's a very interesting philosophy. Thank you for sharing it. Uh, for more information, check out our website. We have a lot more show coming up, so don't go away. We'll be here.